Hello, welcome to part two in this tutorial. Today I'm going to be setting up a nice shop. Hopefully it's nice. <laughs> well, it's going to be nice. And um, we're going to be uh, creating, um, uh, we're going to be leaving off where we started with our score and basically just tapping the coin off. There's a glitch going on here. Let's just create another room. Uh, create another room. Join it, throw that room out. Delete this room. Delete it. Over here. No, that doesn't work. Okay, we're just gonna have to click in instances. Um, I wanted to show you. Um, I created two another instincts layers, so it's easier for me. So instincts layer create and instincts layer create. Remember, I um, I recommend Game Maker Studio to. Uh, for all game making people um just started and stuff like that um let's jump right into this so first we're going to need our new art additions uh don't mind these these are just my art stuff um we could even get rid of them after a while well, i'm gonna keep them there just in case i use this for my art and stuff okay now there's uh we have to put inside the center middle center we're not going to get into that but it's very important that you put it inside of the middle center and we're going to make this maybe um 452 and that should be good i'm thinking maybe a little bit smaller i don't know let's just try that and we're going to use this tool um um in our project right now now if you don't have like any editor or apps or something like that just look up like a black format or something like this where you can actually just drag onto the space and we're going to create an object for it and um i'll show you why in a little bit we're just going to keep them on new because really we don't need them um and it wastes time okay yeah so that's perfect you see that's beautiful um i'm just thinking kind of like a bigger shop maybe um, this will appear on the screen, so it needs to be big, um, big enough that people could actually see it. So let's try maybe 654, maybe. I like to use those numbers, like very sophisticated numbers. Yeah, beautiful. So we're going to spawn this right around here. So let's see, what is the coordinates of that, the pixels? Um, 570, 320. 570, 320. Okay, we don't really need that right now because we're going to do something else. Now we're going to import another image. I'm going to import, not create. You could create, an, uh, um, or you could just look up on internet a uh, shop image. Well, I have it right here because I made this image, but we're not going to go into that. We're going to put it inside of the middle center. Um, we're, actually, we're just going to put it like right there because it's not middle center. Middle centered because of the way I made it. And we're going to create an object for this because this is going to stand on the board. It doesn't really need anything. We're going to add events in a second. Um, just make this a little bit bigger. The corner, that looks the best there. I, I like it there. Okay, um, it was still a little too big. Okay, beautiful. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go inside of this object. Actually, we're going to create one more object. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to uh, create one, and we're going to set this to 552. Very important that it's a big number. 552. And very important that it's a big number. Um, you could just look up, click to exit or something like that. Like, if you're following this tutorial, you want to make a video game like this, I say that you do this. And we're going to make this 35, and we're going to make this black. And people could see it better, 35 volt and anti whatever that says, I don't know. And basically, so people could just see it better. Um, and uppercase, so click, click, click to go back. Da, 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 da. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, beautiful. And then we have this. And this and that and that. Okay, let's just go ahead and create the object for this. 
is going to create that object right there. Okay, now we have to go ahead and import this. So when tapped, when this is tapped, we're going to say do this and do that. In this, I'm going to use drag and drop. That's why I use drag and drop when I'm creating because Game Maker Studio is so amazing that you could put in this. Uh, right, where was I? Extract code, and it'll just kind of give you the code. Okay, and um, create instincts. We're going to create our instincts first. So when this is tapped, we're going to create the instincts of this. We're going to go back inside of that in the layer of. Uh, I'm going to make it one and then the next one we're going to create this in instincts layer two and basically what that does is just create some over each other that's that's where I'm gonna put it okay and then we're going to say where it goes so let's find the nice spot for this first um it's the middle center so I think it's like right there um so let's see what would that be um 540 540, 310, 540, 310, 540, 310, 310, and why we do that is just so then it's evenly numbered, so we're estimating kind of, and then we're going to see where this would like to go, that's a little too big, that's why we, we it's good that we make it big though, so then people could actually see it, I'm going to make this um, 352, okay, and rooms, say, perfect, and we're just going to create this, like, right there, 530, 620, 530, 620, um, 530, 620, and let's go in here, 500, 30, 620, and we're creating our object, this, that. Now what we have to do is very simple. Go inside of this one and create the, when tapped, um, for it to destroy the instincts of what we wanted to do. So we could actually do coding, um, or let's just see, destroy instincts. I move from the room. Okay, we need this, but we need it to destroy both instincts. So kind of, we need it to destroy the background instincts and the other instincts. So I'm just gonna go with extract code. All right, we'll get back to that. First, let's test it. It might not work. I mean, with drag and drop, it's easier to see the bugs than coding, um, in my opinion. But we're just going to ahead and see if there's any bugs with it. It might not be set right or something, which I will just fix or something. We'll fix in a tutorial or something like that. Okay, so you see that's that's not good. Um, it's there already. Okay, let's just delete this. That's why it was there. Okay, now let's just test it. I did see the black the brown thing come up when I pressed the shop anyway, so that's good. All right, let's load this game. Okay, so now you could tap it, and there's really cool stuff stuff coming out. Um, in the other tutorial, we did that, and your score goes higher. And when we press score, go back. Perfect, just what we wanted. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, we're going to do some more. Let's say, um, we're going to say when this is tapped now. So let's go ahead. And when that is tapped, let me see, what am I going to write? Let's see. Okay, we don't need to do that. That'll just name it, kind of, but just I wanted to tap. Okay. So let's say destroy, how am I supposed to destroy? D, D, I know I have it right here somewhere. Destroy. It's like a story. S T O R Y. Destroy. Um. Let's say. What is the pop-ups of that? D. Destroy. Mm. 
destroy. Instincts. Let's say destroy instincts. I don't know if you have it here. Destroy instincts. Destroy. In. Just layer destroy instincts. Layer ID. Okay, so I guess I'll just do. Let's see if this works first. OBJ. Four. Object four. This might work, and then let's just go ahead. Layer D. Destroy. Okay, so layer. This is probably not going to work, but it's good we test this. OBJ. Under. No, not not object. Object. Now, what is it named? Object 2. Object 2. So that's good. And let's go ahead and run the game now. This is probably going to have loads of bugs. Like, it'll just have pop up like 3 4 bugs. Maybe. Um, let's just test it. Okay, now basically you tap this, the score goes up, we have nice stuff there. Tap this, this pops up, go back. I just destroyed the whole layer. Um, okay, this is not going to work. We're going to have to say destroy O B J object to which doesn't work either oh, this is interesting 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 um destroy instincts we need to destroy both instincts um destroy instincts does this come with uh destroy instincts at position okay we have to eat that I'm sorry for this long aggravation for everyone Destroy instincts. Um, destroy instincts at position. Where is that? All right, let's just try this. It destroys this and destroy this. Okay. Please let this work. I do not want this to not work. It should work. I mean, it says destroy. Oh, no, wait, 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 no. Okay, this is double destroy. That's not good. We need it to be on this one, too. Okay, now it should work. Destroy this, destroy that when it taps. So this should work. And if this works, then this is really good. Because then we're um, one step of making our shop. And then basically all we need is kind of the upgrades for it. That is awesome. Look at that. It's a pop-up and you can destroy it. Um, I don't know why this only popped up and you could click multiple. We're going to have to figure that out later. Um, we'll do it right now, actually. Why isn't this popping up? Let's go take a look. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Check if. See. Hmm. See if variable no. Maybe this if no. All right. Well, we're going to have to check it to see. Yes. So if variable, let's just create a new variable really quick. Okay. Let's save this for the next video. Um, part two for the shop. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave comments down below. Please um comment me in the videos you would like to see next helping you with your video game or whatever you need help with learning coding and stuff like that. See you later.